So I've got set up for my 5D painting just off camera for you here is the other camera on my 5D painting which just turned itself off. Um, so I'm hoping to do my 5D painting while chatting with you again. I haven't done that for a little while and I miss it. So now that I've got a better setup again and a decent webcam, I can do two again. So I'm just going to start the other one. There you go, so they're both recording now. So yeah, this one I'm working on is the who can I can show it on the other camera? Ooh, wrong way. It's already trained on my thing, so it's having a little trouble seeing it. Nope, doesn't want to focus. Anyway, it's the who can. Um, this is my custom one that I showed in the unboxing. So the Lily. I'm really looking forward to doing this one. Um, the colour I'm starting with is actually colour 169, um, which is that big bag of grey that I showed you all. So, that was pure coincidence, I just decided to start down in the bottom left corner and that was the one we got. So, just going to do these and chat away. Um, I don't know what you've all been up to, I'm still taking part in Vlogist. Um, I'm going to move my tray, it's in my way. <laughs> and I've actually been really enjoying doing it. Um, I've managed to keep it going so far. We're on day... What are we on? We're on day 16, is it? 17. Day se Friday the 17th of August already. But yeah, so we're on day 17. And I've managed to keep the vlogging up and going. Which is great. Um... I really enjoyed it again. Same as I did when I did Vlogmas. I just I really enjoyed doing the vlogging. Um, it's harder to do. Um, it was harder to do before because I was trying to hide a lot of my illness and things. But now that I include my illness into the vlogs, it doesn't matter if I'm looking terrible or I'm headachy and confused because you all know that I'm like that, so I think I'm hoping to at least keep up the vlogging. Um, maybe keep it as daily vlogs from now on, I don't know, we'll see, but I think it would be quite cool if I can. Uh, I know some people aren't interested in my health problems, so they just skip on past, and that's fine, absolutely fine, um, but I got fed up hiding my craft problem, my craft problem, my health problems. Um, I got fed up hiding the fact that I was so ill and I suddenly realised why should I hide it? There's plenty of people out there who are going through the same thing as me who even use crafts to keep them sane, to help with their anxiety or their depression or um, whatever they might have and crafts can be a lifesaver for a lot of people. And I think it's a good idea to share that you're not alone out there and there are other people who are suffering like you. So that's what I'm going to do, I think. I'm just going to keep it up and it doesn't matter if I'm ill. I will still post and say, I mean, obviously if I'm having one of my full-blown hemiplegics or my full-blown migraines, I won't be able to because... You know, I'm actually incapacit incapacitated. Oh, I can't say the word. Um, I ca I literally can't do anything with the hemiplegics. I'm paralysed down one side, um, and can't speak or anything. So I obviously can't record that. Um, and if I've got one of my highest level migraines, um, I spend most of the time extremely out of it and some other nasty effects that come with migraines as I'm sure most of you with migraines know and that can't be put on camera but if it's mild ones like today I have a mild headache I always have a mild headache <laughs> um, unless it gets higher I never have a day without a headache um, but I just I think it's, it's natural we're all ill we all have various problems why hide it so, yeah, other than extreme cases when I can't do it, I will 
continue to vlog every day from now on I think because um, I do enjoy it and I know my life is incredibly boring to a large amount of people and I don't blame you I'm bored of my life um, but it is my life um, and there's nothing I can do about that so I just stick with doing what I do and those who don't like it won't watch it so it's not a nuisance to anyone because if they don't like it they don't watch it it's not interfering with their day at all and I always label my videos if I'm just rambling like this so this one will be labelled as 5D painting and rambling um, or craft and chat rambling and 5D something like that I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna call it but you know it's good so this one as I said this from who can and is my custom which is the water lily and as I explained for the picture that I gave him isn't the best quality it, this is a test piece so I got the um, cheapest quality for the size that would actually work um, which they were great they told me which size I need so I got the size they recommended um, I could go bigger but smaller would lose the detail and I didn't want to lose the detail that I had as the picture was already a bad quality picture. I have better quality pictures of flowers and things and I will, now I will order more. I just, I didn't want to get a really big expensive one and find out that it was awful. Whereas this one I wasn't expecting anything fantastic and yet they've done a fabulous job on it. Uh, but yeah, I'm really pleased with Aliexpress and the way it's all come and arrived. Um, Ever moment ones I got are beautiful. The quality is wonderful. Um, the tube did come dented, but that is not Ever Moment's fault. That is transport courier fault, and. Considering it was coming from China, you know, <laughs> small dent. I think that's pretty good going. <laughs> I've had stuff from the UK arrive in worse state. So, you know, if my own postal system can't do a fantastic job going over from China through several different postal systems, um, I think it's fantastic to only have a small dent. And <laughs> It didn't take too long to get here. It was weird because um, the first one I got from Ever Moment, Ever Moments, my wolf and my butterflies were ordered at the same time. But the wolf arrived, I think, a week and a half, maybe two weeks before the butterfly one, even though they were posted off at the same time. So they obviously got separated at customs because they arrived there about the same time. And then one took a lot longer than the other. Which doesn't bother me because I was expecting 20 to 40 days and I think it ended up being um, 14 to 20 days. So you know, fantastic service. Um, so I'm definitely not complaining about how long it took. Uh, just shake these out to line them up a bit more in a minute. Yeah, so I'm really enjoying these 5D paintings. Um, and it is currently my obsession. But I am attempting to finish off a lot of yarn craft stuff I've got going. So I still have the knitted vest for my father-in-law to work on. And I'm still working on the crochet rings of change blanket. I've done some more of that this morning. Um, I will go around to trying to get another photo to show you how the blankets coming along. The main problem is now that it's so big, finding an area big enough in my house to take a photo is proving difficult. I'm going to have to move some furniture out of the lounge I think in order to um, fit it all in. So that will have to wait until Duncan's here from work and see if the boys can help him. I mean, Reese, I believe, is supposed to be moving this stuff out by the end of the week, so we'll see how that goes. Um, and I'll just be glad to get my conservatory stroke craft room back to myself instead of 
the tiny room upstairs that doesn't fit half the stuff. Um, but you know, it's life in it, you have to fit things in the way you can. And it's not as we can afford to go and get a bigger house because this one is already extremely expensive um, for what it is and yet we get it cheaper than a newbie would because we've lived here for I think it's nine years now and so the rent's only gone up very minimal in the time we've been here. Um, I think it would cost another few hundred pound if somebody got this after us and that's a few hundred pound a month because we rent. Um, which adds up. But yeah, if we wanted to rent some place bigger than this, um, it's way out of our budget. I mean, even if we moved and rented a place this same size, it's out of our budget because places even this size now are much more expensive than what we're currently paying. The rent market around here is shocking on prices. You have no idea. And we're not even the most expensive places. I mean, we've worked out that even if Duncan, we moved to London and Duncan didn't have to commute so far, so didn't pay for the extortionate train season ticket prices, we'd still be no better off because the rent in London is um, just as expensive. Um, in fact, it's more expensive, so we'd be no better off. I'm just going to attempt to attach a better light for me to see on here. Because, sorry if that's, that's ruining that camera up there, isn't it? Um, I wonder if I can pop it under and it won't be too much of a problem. Mm, oh. It's a little difficult for me to see some of these. Not because there's anything wrong with them. They're printed wonderful, it's my eyesight. The problem is I've forgotten to put my glasses on. I think I'm going to go and grab my glasses in a minute. So be right back. top stuck to it there. Right, I put the light on, um, which is really helping me sleep, but it's doing not so good for the other camera. Let's see if I can um, change the thing a bit. No. Is that a little better, hopefully? Hopefully you can see it a little better on there. Okay, so, yeah, there's a lot of this colour, so I'm afraid it's not going to be a very colourful picture to start with. I haven't got the a, um, little sheet to show you what the picture is. Um, but basically this is the dark and grey water that's around the lily. Um, hold on, I just have to close that. Some stuff rudely opening up on my um, laptop. Um, it came with Norton Security and it keeps trying to get me to register and pay and activate a load of stuff. It won't take the hint that I'm not going to do it. I don't like Norton. Um, I used to use AVG. Um, but then that started sending me pop-ups daily, well, several hourly at one point, um, asking me to pay for their um, various things, because um, they had the free version. Um, and I didn't want half the stuff that they kept asking, and they just wouldn't take no for an answer, so I moved to Avast, because that one was much better at the time. And now that one's popping up things telling me I should get this and I should get that. So now I don't know what to do. I mean, yes, I should stop being such a skinflint and pay for some decent security. But I don't see the point when free stuff will cover it anyway. 
And it's not as if I've got thousands of pounds in the bank that some scammer can go and get the money out. <laughs> and have a good laugh because there's nothing in there. <laughs> and plus I don't use my computer to check my bank. So, you know, there's not a lot of details they can steal off my computer. It's used for filming, editing, um, and playing games. Which have no payment issues being done through the computer. So... I mean, what's the worst they can do? Hold my uni work to ransom? <laughs> I think keep the uni work or lease it to the world. It's not going to do me any damage. Once I've handed it in, it's they've already passed my things. Anyone else who copies it, that's the, down to them, not me. So what are you all up to today? Is anyone else doing 5D painting well? watching me do 5D painting or got some crochet or knitting projects on the go. I know some of you do card making crafts um, so what have you got going on um, them? I do love card making but I was never very good at, I just couldn't get the pictures to look right. It's just not quite, it's the only craft I never really got the hang of. Which is a shame because you can do some really pretty ones, but mine just never looked as high quality as all the other ones I saw. So I stopped doing them. And plus, I can find people to pay a decent price for them. People pay, most people will pay a decent price for my yarn craft stuff. Um, but you see a card and they just think, oh, it's a piece of paper shoved on with a few bits shoved on or a few bits drawn or coloured or whatever. Um, can't be that hard. They haven't got a clue, because it really is. Um, yeah, it's not a Van Gogh or Monet or anything like that, but you know, quite frankly, a lot of these things are better than some of the things like... Um, I'm really not into a lot of modern art. <laughs> Give me the older style art any day. Um, most modern art just annoys me because it's just, it's literally crap. I mean, in one one thing, it literally was crap. Um, or an unmade bed. And I know a lot of people love that sort of thing. You know, so much, you know, feel the emotion of the picture of the red painting that sells for millions of dollars or whatever. Um, no, thank you. Give me someone who's actually done some decent artwork and put an effort in. Anyone could paint a thing red and call it art. You tell I'm a little um, opinionated on modern art. <laughs> Just, you know, the paint pouring method, so you get all those wonderful colours of paint. It's not simple as just pour paint, see what you get. People plan out that paint. They plan out which order they're going to do it in, how much of each one, the thickness and, um, is it philosophy? Philosoph the runniness of the paint. See, words. <laughs> um, there's a lot that goes into planning a pouring painting. So that, I think, is beautiful. Um, because that is not an easy task. But just painting a screen red or having an unmade bed. No, that that's not art to me. It's, it's just laziness. Painting something red would be my background for a picture. So like some people may say this is an art, 5D painting, because it's already let out for you. Um, but somebody is spending the time to carefully plan out and put all this together. And some people create their own from scratch, they don't even have it pre-printed. I have blank canvases to do the same thing. Um, so this to me is art. And as far as I'm concerned, yarn crafts are art, because you create beautiful things with them. Um, and some of the blankets are just amazing art, as far as I'm concerned. The work and the detail that goes into them is just stunning. Yeah, so, it's, yeah, I have very, um, different opinions on art than, I think, the modern day world. <laughs> but, you know, everyone's allowed to have their own opinion. And just because I don't like something, don't mean, I just don't like something. I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't like my work, but you know, 
that's their choice. I like what I do. I like adult colouring. I like doing 5D paintings and I like weaving and sewing and knit, crochet, you name it. I love all that stuff and it keeps me sane and to me that is my artistic expression. So, you know, just because someone else doesn't like it doesn't mean you have to stop doing something. You like it, you keep doing it. Sorry, just needed some water because my throat hurts from all that talking. But kind of the point of this is to chat away. Um, I don't have any subjects planned out, I'm just rambling away, so you'll have to bear with me to. Oh, oops, I don't, you can't see on any of the cameras, but I've just accidentally pulled in quite a few. <laughs> so I'm just going to pull some back out. I mean, I'll probably need all them, but you can't put them out properly if there's too many. But that's what I get for being silly. Yeah, it's because I'm not used to this big bag. Most of mine are normally really small. I've just had a new subscriber and I haven't got a clue how you pronounce it. Nyconia? N Y K O L N I A. Well, I don't know how I pronounce your name, but hi, welcome. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. If anyone knows any 5D craft channels or um, yarny ones or any channels you think I might be interested, please do just pop them in the comments section because I love discovering new um, YouTubers. I've recently found a couple of new 5D painting ones which are fabulous. Um, and I've actually discovered a 5D painting group on Facebook as well. Um, so I've just joined that one as well. So hopefully I can get to see much more of the fabulous 5D paintings. I already follow quite a few people in the yarn community. Um, and there's some amazing people out there. Um, but I'd like to follow some other crafts. So yeah, I'm looking for more 5D painters. Um, maybe some weaving ones would be quite nice because I actually don't have any weavers to follow so that would be really nice my comment on one of the new 5D painting channels just got a like yay uh, Stitcherista I think that's how it's pronounced, Stitcherista. She does some beautiful 5D paint. She um recently done an unboxing with Evermoment, one of the ones that I get from. Um and absolutely beautiful pictures. Um she got some of the slightly more expensive ones and they were worth it. They are just stunning. Mm. Grace GB Maltese got this awesome clock one which I really like. Kind of want to do a clock one myself now. But what I'm actually tempted to do is find some kind of tacky glue and paint a base to one of my clock kits and do a custom 5D painting on a clock and see what I can come up with. I think that would be really pretty because I've got so many of these gems left after doing these pictures um, I need to find a use for them I'm just going to stop and re-record there you go, had to stop and redo because the camera only does 20 odd minutes so I had to make sure I start it again I mean, if I bothered to buy a video camera instead of a DLSR to do my recordings, I probably wouldn't have this problem. 
but I like the ability to film and take photos all on one camera when I'm out instead of taking two different ones. So we stick to filming and restarting it every 20 minutes. I don't think it's too much of a problem. The editing software lets me put it all together pretty simple. So, I mean, I only use a free editor, OpenShot. Um, but, you know, it, it's basic. It does the job. I'm not looking for some amazing, fantastic sound effects and things. I'm just basic editing. So it's all good. Has anyone got any nice plans for this weekend? I don't know what we're doing. Um, I know that my oldest is getting prepared to go to Germany because he goes on the 21st, which is Tuesday, I believe. Um, Duncan's taking the day off work to drive him to the airport and then take me to um, the gym for my induction um, and hopefully a safe plan that I can do with all my conditions which I'm really excited to do because I need to lose some weight and considering cushions is known for gaining weight and one of my painkillers is known for gaining weight um, I need something that can help me lose weight but obviously because of the type of cushions the adrenal suppression I don't produce the right hormones um, for safe exercise, so I have to do extra long warm ups and things like that to prepare my body to exercise so I don't go into shock. Because, you know, going into shock and dropping dead at the gym really wouldn't be good for business. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that he's found a routine I can safely do um, and then I can get this weight loss on the go again because it's really frustrating before I got really ill again a few years ago I'd actually got well enough to start losing weight properly and I dropped down to a really good size still nowhere near my goal but you know I really dropped down um, Whereas now I'm so far back up, I'm actually over what I was. And it's not, like, contrary to popular opinion, not everyone who is fat is fat because they eat too much. Some of us are just fat because we actually do have medical problems that cause it. All this, um, monitor what you go in and out. Yes, within reason, that can help. But it's not going to help someone with my conditions. Because... I can eat way below the minimum safe amount of calories and way below what I should be safely eating to lose weight and I gain weight so it's not as simple as eat less um, way less it doesn't work like that not for a good majority of people in this country and other countries I we just, we actually do have medical problems and it's not a lie we tell to be able to stuff our faces because most of us are far from stuffing our faces. It's like everyone believes that anorexics are only these really skinny, scared looking people, which a lot of them are, let's, don't get me wrong, you know, probably like 99% of them are or something, I don't know, that's a random statistic I threw out, I don't know for real. But there are larger people who are anorexic. They starve themselves in order to lose weight. But because of whatever medical problem, they still don't lose weight. And so everyone who says, oh, fat cow, stop eating so much. Maybe just shut up and think for a minute that maybe that person isn't fat because they're lazy and they pig out and that they have a medical problem. There's a rant I didn't expect to go on to today, but... Oh well, never mind. 
And those who have been following me a while know I tend to go on tangent on things. And then I often forget what I was talking about and change to an entirely different subject. You know, that's just who I am. If you're looking for sane, sensible talking, you're really in the wrong place. Because that is not how I work. <sighs> and those who don't like talking over videos, you know what you can do? Press mute. Because the amount of people complain say, oh, I wish you didn't talk over this video. You know, that's what the mute button's for. So if you don't want to hear me talking but want to see me working, just mute it, then play your own music. It's not hard, it's not rocket science. And those who complain the video is too long, you know what else you can do? There's a little button on YouTube that makes you speed up the video. Do that! Or just don't watch it all, it's up to you. Nobody forces you to watch it, and nobody forces you to listen to it. So if you don't like it, fix it yourself and stop expecting them to make changes for you. There are some criticisms I'm happy to hear, whether my anger was off, didn't quite explain something correctly, um, need to show something at a different angle so that they can see it better, or that I've got something wrong and I've misunderstood something. Great! Correct me. Ask me to do things. But don't sit there and complain that um, you don't like the talking, or you don't like the speed, or the best one I had was, you don't like my long nails, so cut them. They're my nails. If I want long nails, I'll have long nails. I mean, as it happens, a lot of them are broken at the moment, so they're not very long. But, you know, it, it doesn't matter how long my nails are. If I want to have long nails, I'll have long nails, and if you don't like long nails, that's your problem, not mine. I know one YouTuber who is the most wonderful, loving, caring person you can ever meet and she got told to check her eyebrows out. Why? What's it to do with anyone else? She's not a beauty channel. So if she wants her eyebrows to look how they're looking, then that's her choice. I don't wear makeup. I haven't even straightened my hair today because I couldn't be bothered. That's who I am and... It doesn't matter because what I look like when I'm not a beauty channel has absolutely no business of yours. You're here to watch whatever craft I'm doing at the time, not to just judge what I look like. And I just think it's, it really annoys me that people will judge somebody for what they're wearing or what they look like or how their hair is or how their makeup's done. There's no need. I mean, yes, if they're a beauty channel, then maybe say that was great, not quite my thing or thing. But even that person doing that beauty, that's the way they like it. And that's the way they want to show people the way they're doing it. So who are you to say what they're doing is wrong? If it works for them, then it's right. Plain and simple. I just, I don't understand this judgmental society we get nowadays. And I'm aware that sometimes I sound judgmental. And I really don't mean to sound judgmental, but just some people who say certain things annoy the hell out of me. I mean, I'm sorry, but if you think that you telling someone that they're fat, ugly, dressed wrong, insert whatever you blimmin' like, I will judge you on being an asshole <laughs> because they're not harming you the way they're dressed or the way they're doing something. If it is not harming you or someone else, then who the hell cares? They can do what the hell they like. And you can do what the hell you like. But maybe try being a nicer person and not judging someone for not doing something the way you like it. It'll be really interesting to see how all these greys work together um, to form this water because it's a very, it was a 
reasonably dingy rainy day when this photo was taken so the water isn't beautiful crystal clear or anything it is dark and dingy but I like that because there's so many beautiful photos out there wonderful sunny days of everything looking absolutely amazing there's not a huge amount that I've seen of the beauty of the dark dingy days because rain can look stunning and water can look beautiful in the rain and it can look beautiful even when it's dark and dingy because it has so much character to it that might just be me and my delusions because well I like weird things but that's the way I look at it just because it's not shine beautiful and full of beautiful blues doesn't mean the water is not still pretty <sighs> what else should we chat about? I've already moaned about weight and people's opinions well, anything else I can say that's going to make people hate me? Yeah, it's not hard, I mean look at Graveyard Girl, she had a momentary ramp about Starbucks and now there's thousands of videos criticising her. It's like, who cares if she acted like a small little brat? It was her, her opinion and she was entitled to it. You can hear the door going there. It's just one of my sons going into the kitchen. Because I'm sat in the um, hallway that is our dining room. Or should be our dining room. We don't actually have a dining room. Um, so it's the entr entryway to the lounge and the kitchen and the conservatory. Hence why it's literally just a corridor. Um, so they will be going in and out quietly because they're good boys. But they will go in and out. And cut these to try to get them to line up a bit better. There you go. Oop, and I don't know if you heard that, but that was my post arriving. Um, only 12:40. That's not bad timing. Our post likes to arrive late here. I remember when it used to be two lots of posts here. You get one in the morning and one in the afternoon. We only get one in the afternoon nowadays, there's no such thing as two posts. Um, I mean the latest we've had posts was five o'clock in the evening, which was just ridiculous. Um, I'm guessing they had a major shortage of staff or something that day. Um, usually it's any time between twelve and two. son's just getting ready to go to Germany and I'm a little terrified. I mean, he's 20, 21 in September. He is old enough to go off, travel the world, all on his own, without me worrying about him. But you know what? Not going to happen. I'm going to worry and panic for the whole time he's gone. <coughs> Because no matter how old my kids get, they're still my babies. Which I know annoys people. You know, claiming my 20 year old is a, still my baby because there's not babies, they haven't been for a while. But I don't care what they say. To me, my kids will always be my babies. Um, and I will always worry about them. And there's nothing anyone can say that will stop me from worrying about them. No matter how sensible they are and how clever they are. There's so much of this colour. I mean, there's actually 4,015 of this colour that I have. So that's, that's quite a lot. But I don't mind. Because 
do all this and then you get to add that wonderful pink that's coming out into it and that is going to really pop against it, I can't wait to see it um, but I need to work down on the bottom half which is mostly the water first before I get to the beautiful colours because I don't want to work from the middle out so work along this strip here along the bottom and then I'll move along to the next strip up which will have some of the pink in which will be nice the very centre has got some gorgeous yellows um, so I'm looking forward to seeing them done as well um, what I'll probably do is take a photo of what this is supposed to be and put it either as the thumbnail or put it at the beginning of this picture um, beginning of this video so you can at least see what it is so I took a little break for a second so that I can send my youngest over the shop to buy a uh, cola or Pepsi because we haven't got any and I really could do with some to keep me awake I need a caffeine boost and I don't actually like coffee so cola it is which you know is incredibly unhealthy and really bad for me but it's, I don't have large amounts of sugar. I don't. Um, I drink herbal teas. So there's no milk and no sugar in them. No honey or anything. Um, my breakfast is porridge in the mornings, but I don't add any sugar or honey or anything to that. Um, so really, the only sugar I have is from naturally within foods and a Pepsi or cola. So you know, it doesn't hurt to have the odd treat. And I found if I gave up the cola, um, my body reacted really badly to not having any sugar in my system. My migraines got way worse. And it wasn't that I was detoxing and anything like This went on for months, way past detox level. Um, and also you have to be having a large quantity for a detox to really affect you. And I don't have large quantities. Um, it's just that naturally my blood sugar is a little lower. Um, so, you know, my blood sugar is 3 and 4. Um, we got down to 3.2. Don't ask me the measurements. I ain't got a clue. Whatever UK measurements are. Um, so, you know, it got really quite low if I didn't have anything. So, I had to do something. And I had apple juice and things, I have that each morning I used to have an apple juice I still do sometimes but it depends on how I'm feeling because sometimes the apple juice can set off my head um, orange juice always sets off my head um, but yeah sometimes apple juice can set off a migraine as well I don't know why, it just does so I have it when I'm feeling my minimal headaches um, but I don't tend to have it otherwise because um, mainly what I drink is water I drink bottles of water all day um, I drink a minimum of 2 litres of water a day and then I also have my um, cup of teas my peppermint tea or um, nettle tea um, and then I have my one can of Pepsi the reason we haven't got any in the house at the moment though is I have a booker's card um, for those who aren't in the UK, Booker's is a cash and carry um, for businesses only. Um, but because I run my own craft business, I was able to get one. And we normally go and buy Pepsi's, buy the crate load there, because I've got two adult boys and a teenage boy um, who like to drink it. And me and Duncan like to drink it. And it's not that we have loads, we only have one a day. But a crate of 24, you know, one a day, doesn't even last a month. And between me and Duncan, because we share one crate, and the boys have their own shit crates, um, you know, it lasts even less. Um, the boys pay for their own. Um, they work and they pay for their stuff. They're good boys. But Booker, uh, 
this weekend they had one crate of Pepsi left, just the one, so we had a share between all of us. Um, and then they said they'd have some more in on the Monday, so as Duncan was working from home, he went back early Monday morning and they said the delivery hadn't turned up with any. So there's no Pepsi in the whole of Booker, which the problem leaves the fact that our two local shops also buy their supplies from Booker, which means they don't have any either. <laughs> um, and I don't buy the Coca-Cola from Booker because, believe it or not, it's actually cheaper to buy Coca-Cola from Tesco's than it is from Booker, where it's cheaper to buy the Pepsi from Booker than it is Tesco's. So it's really weird. But, so yeah, I'm having to buy Coke from the shop each day if I fancy one. I mean, I don't, if we don't have it in, or even when we do have it in, I don't always drink it. Depends if I really fancy one. If I need a caffeine boost, um, I will have it. And I find Pepsi helps with my migraines. I know a lot of people, caffeine makes you worse, but I find Pepsi actually helps. So if I've got a really bad migraine, I will drink a Pepsi as well. And it's not that I drink it fast. One can of Pepsi will last me the entire day I'm up. Um, so, you know, I only have a little bit of time. Sorry, I know that sounds probably really annoying, but my throat's really hurting, so I've got to drink some more water. I don't know what's going on with my throat today. I used to be able to talk forever and not have a problem, but today it's really hurting. I hope I'm not coming down with something, that's the last thing I need. There's one problem with Duncan working in London. He's in an air-conditioned office that just spreads the germs and their work has a policy that if you're well enough, even if you're sick, if you're well enough to call in sick and say, but I can work from home doing stuff, then far as they're concerned, you're well enough to go into work and you can't just call in sick for a cold or something. You have to be in work for that. Um, which means that all those germs get spread to everyone else. And the problem is, when Duncan breathes them home, due to a lot of my conditions, my immune system is weakened. And so I'm more susceptible to these illnesses, and I actually often get them worse than a lot of people. Which is really annoying. So, yeah. My Duncan often brings back bad bugs. He's got a little tradition, it's quite funny. Excuse me, sorry. Um, when he's at work, even if there are lots of bugs around, he doesn't tend to get sick. He very rarely gets sick. But usually, 9 times out of 10, um, when he takes a week off of work, that's when he gets sick. That's when his body goes, ah, now I can rest and be ill, and decides to be really ill. Which is really quite annoying because he doesn't take a lot of time off work and it's nice to go out and about when he does. Luckily the last time he took a week off work, um, back in July, he didn't get sick and it was fabulous because we got to go out all sorts of places. But he is a typical, this is going to sound really bad and I'm really sorry and I don't mean it in an offensive way at all. Um, Though I know that this is going to sound really offensive. But he's a typical man. You know, they get um, a cold and they're dying a man flu. <laughs> um, and it drives me mad. Because there's no need for it. If you've got a cold, yes, you feel crap. It is awful. A cold is just not good. But there's no reason to become a whiny little baby who needs his mama. <laughs> I have low sympathy for people who have minor illnesses and get really whiny when there's people out there with pretty major illnesses who have to deal with it every day and you don't hear them whining every day. Um, so, yeah, I don't deal with it very well. Which, you know, makes me not a particularly loving wife, I expect. But he understands my frustration. It's quite lucky. He he gets that, you know, I'm ill every day in my life. And a lot of what he feels when he's got cold is what I feel every day. Um, because I have fibromyalgia and I have ME. 
um, and I was born with blocked sinuses um, and of course with migraines to add into the boot you know I pretty much feel like I've got the flu every day of my life <laughs> and yeah there are days things are so bad that I whine and I curl up in a ball and want my mummy but those days are few and far between I mean, yesterday I was like that because of tummy problems, I just wanted to cry, I was in so much pain. Um, but you know, by the end of the day I've dealt with it, I've got it sorted and I was good again. I don't spend a week moaning like a little baby that I feel like I'm going to die. <laughs> you just get on with it. I always look at it this way, there's someone out there who is in hospital because they're in a lot worse way than I am. And so if they can get on with their life, I can get on with mine. That's not to say not to tell people how you're feeling, because I do believe you should tell someone if you're feeling rough or you're feeling whatever, because they then will know that you might be slower on the day, or there's certain things you can't do because the smell makes you nauseous or something. So yeah, tell them what's wrong. Tell them that you've got a problem that's limiting your capabilities for the day or the week or whatever. But don't sit and whine about it like a little baby in the corner saying that you need to be hand fed on a golden spoon. <laughs> I'm sure some of you know the sort of people I'm on about. It just, it annoys me. You notice a lot annoys me. I'm a really bad person. <laughs> I never used to be like this. I used to be so caring that I take care of anyone and everything and you know if someone had a problem they'd come to me and I'd sit with them for hours and talk or let them cry on my shoulder or whatever it is that needed doing I'd be the one there doing it but it got to the point that I'd only ever see these people when they needed something when they needed help when they needed a shoulder to cry and then they'd hang out with the rest of their mates who were able to party and things um, when they didn't need them, um, didn't need me, and uh, it just it got to the point that some people I haven't seen some people in years now, because they just you know I don't go out partying, I don't go out drinking. My idea of a good night is pl staying in, either watching a movie or playing board games, which I know is really boring to a lot of people, but I love it. But it meant that the only time I saw any of these people was when they needed something. And yet when I needed them, because my depression was really bad, or my health in general was really bad, or I was going through problems with various things, there wasn't a single person around. I was on my own the whole time. I mean, Duncan does his best. He does his very best to try to look after me. But sometimes you need a friend, not a husband. Not that he's not my friend, but I'm sure you get what I mean. You, just, you need someone outside of the situation to be there to see someone you don't see every day um, someone you know you can count on and I have no one and I've had no one for years because apparently though when they were ill or relationship problems or work problems or whatever it was great to come to me but as soon as I get like that no they don't want to hear it they want to go out and party and, you know, you get all these people sharing all these things on Facebook. You know, I'm here for you. I'm just a call away. My door is always open. Yeah, really? Where are you when I needed you? Nowhere. Not a single person. So many of these so-called friends of mine share these things. You know, like they're wonderful people and they'll always be there for you. And yet they won. I phone them. I text them. I arrange meetups. And they counsel every time. And not because they're ill, which, you know, would be absolutely understandable. Um, but because they're going out partying with various friends and they don't want to be stuck indoors when so they're so busy they can't even send me a text to check how I'm doing um, so yeah all these people who share these things nine times out of ten they're people who actually are just bullshitting they're not really there to support you and I know I just swore, and I've probably swore a couple of times, and I'm really sorry, but it's in my vocabulary, and personally, I don't see a problem with it, we're adults. Um, and it's not that I'm meaning it nastily to, towards someone, then I'd have a problem with it. Um, 
except on the odd occasion where certain people really deserve it. And I mean, these are like really seriously bad people. Um, you know, sort of people that end up in jail because of what they've done. Then I'm okay swearing it. Oh, hold on. Hey, back again. Mally just arrived with the cola and a bag of skips, so I've taken some off him and we've gone halves on the bag. Sorry if you hear me crunching the skips, but I haven't had skips in years, and then the last couple of months I've really fancied them. I don't know why, but all of a sudden I fancy skips. I mean, I'm, when I say years, I mean I hadn't had skips in maybe 10, 15 years. And then all of a sudden, it's like, ooh, Skips, I want one of them. Um, I don't know if Skips have a different name elsewhere. They're pawn shell type things. Um, ooh, yeah, so, that sort of thing. I've actually just looked up at my camera and noticed the battery's going on it. So I am going to have to stop filming because I need to charge the battery. Because uh, unfortunately you can't plug this one in and run it off powers. Which is really annoying because when we bought this, it was one of the things we requested. And the guy at the camera shop says, yes you can do that, you just buy the adaption. But you can't, not for this camera, which really annoyed me. But yeah, so I'm going to have to go while we get the battery for this camera um, on charge and I'll check back in with you later. I'm going to keep doing this so I'll be a bit further along by the time I see you all again. So, take care. Bye!